hello, my name is Richard Brock. I work at uh, Collabora Online, and we are going to have a quick look at the uh, latest features coming to uh, Impress, or in fact, already in Impress. Um, what is Impress, I hear you say? Well, we are at a Nextcloud conference, so a lot of you might know this as Nextcloud Present. Are we all using Nextcloud Office or Collabora Online or something like that? Hooray, good. If not, why not? Um, so uh, if I say Impress, this is what I'm talking about. Um, well, there you go. This is uh, what Impress is. It is a powerful uh, presentation editor. This is uh, Michael's presentation from the last uh, conference, for example. It's what we use a lot, uh, as you might imagine. We're working with lots of uh, universities and schools and, and teachers, people who are using presentations all the time. So it's powerful. Um, it is a fully featured presentation editor. What do we mean by that? Well, here we go. Here's all the features. Uh, it's a silly slide, but you get the idea. There's a lot going on. Um, it's got all the stuff that you would expect. It's got the sort of slide templates and all sorts of fun stuff, animations. Uh, this is some stuff I like a lot. I work in marketing, so uh, manipulating images, getting everything centered and vertical and getting the layers right and whatever. Anyway, but you don't want to know that. You want to know what's new. Um, present in window. Uh, this is a really cool feature. Uh, so what happens is if you click present in window, and instead of going full screen, it will open a new window for you. Uh, why is that useful? Well, if you are in a uh, video call, uh, you are using the exciting new Nextcloud video call function, um, or whatever it is that you use, it means that it does not block off your screen. So you can still see the participants. You can see when they're looking very bored, like some of you might be, and it's time to move to the next slide. Um, it's also like the ultimate presenter notes. Uh, so rather than just a little box of some text, um, you can have a document open uh, next to you where you can be uh, looking at your notes, you could be looking at Wikipedia, whatever it might be that you are uh, referencing for your presentation. Um, there we go, presenting window, that's pretty cool. 3D slide transitions, uh, this is an old picture. You might notice they are all 2D, but there are new ones that are 3D, uh, which is fun. So yeah, like Michael said earlier, um, it's uh, really cool. I think we're the only people doing this. And so you can have cubes that are spinning around, you can have ripply effects, you can have all sorts of fun stuff. Um, a ruler bar, wow, that sounds kind of lame, doesn't it? Why do we care about ruler bars? Well. It's really, really useful if you want smart and professional presentations, not presentations that look like this. Yeah? So there you go. Ruler bar, quite handy. Um, make sure your indentations are all looking smart and you know, everything lines up properly. Um, on the topic of lining things up properly, uh, here you go. Here's um, auto-align. Uh, it sort of is fairly self-explanatory, but if you don't know what auto or align mean, it will uh, take your images when you are resizing them and moving them around and make sure they match up. It's quite difficult to show you on this um, screenshot. I've tried to highlight it, but you can see there are these uh, dotted lines that uh, go across. So as you move around, you can uh, match up and, and make sure things are looking uh, really smart. What else have we got? Well, uh, as well as those exciting new features, um, our nerdy tech team uh, have been doing a lot to make sure that it is much, much faster. Have you got a PPTX with loads of weird images and clip art and something funny going on there? Uh, we will open your document uh, really, really quickly. Um, and then, as Michael uh, mentioned earlier, uh, we will then present your presentation much uh, quicker. Uh, instead of rendering everything all at once. What's coming in the future? Uh, uh, speaker notes, if you do want them on here, that's going to be on the way. Talk to Lily, she knows everything about speaker notes, and um, that's going to be fun. But like I said, you know, we've got present in window, so that's pretty good. Um, but there's loads and loads of hard work, and there's all sorts of other things that we can't talk about. I only had five minutes. That's 36 slides. Thank you for listening. I'm Richard Brock. <laughs>